Hi. 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 Have you ever wanted to more easily car vlog or Jeep vlog? No? Uh, me either. Well, either way, I'm going to tell you today how you can take two devices that create a quick release system on your dash for any camera, any GoPro, any phone, all for under 75 bucks. So we'll take a look at how I use it and how to install it. Everyone knows you can mount a GoPro up on the dash with certain GoPro devices, but what really comes down to, it's difficult to mount other larger cameras like the one I'm filming on. So let me show you, switch over the cameras now. Let me get a recording. Anytime I set up here, you know, it's likely to fall as you're driving, blah, 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 blah. And you can have some expensive cameras. This isn't the most expensive camera, but I want to protect it. Same thing with a phone, GoPro, whatever. You need different mounts and you need quick ways to install it, remove it, install it, remove it. So that's what I have today on most of my devices is this quick install mount. Okay, one way that I've solved this problem that I wanna carry over into the Jeep dashboard is utilizing the same thing I utilize on my tripods. I also have shorter, uh, just desktop tripods. But what you'll see right here is a Falcam F38 quick release. And what you can do with this quick release, it has a locking mechanism and a standardized base plate mount. So what I've done, for example, on the GoPro is put in the standardized Falcam mount. Now what this allows you to do is take any device that has this base plate and slide it, basically just put it right on the Falcam mount, lock it in, and you can even further lock the device using this little, little turn thing and it locks it in. And this thing is not going anywhere. And then it's super simple. It's a quick release, so when I'm ready to take it out, I just press this button, slide this forward, and it's loose, so I can just slide it out, and it's done. So I wanna take this same implementation and put it inside the Jeep, and this will fit not just only my GoPro, but also camera that I'm filming with now. So that is the first device that you need. The second device that you need is a Bulletproof Solutions, or Bullet Point, Bulletproof Solutions Ruby Grid. And that creates a grid style system that you can attach different items to your Jeep Dash. And they're super popular, so you'll find them. They're basically like 40 bucks direct from Bullet Point or Bulletproof Solutions. So I'll show you how to install that, how to install both of these, and even show you how they look and set up and how easy they are to use once installed. I need to mount this ruby grid onto the dash of the truck, which is why we're crammed in the truck, 101 degree heat day here in Austin, Texas. So first of all, I need to get rid of that. And I gotta take the two screws out of the front in here. I do have the truck running because it's freaking hot, but the ruby grid comes with all the shit you need. I don't even know how people get up in here. Ugh, there's apparently a screw in here. Oh, I see it. Two screws. All right, so there's one out. The second, tie me. I don't know how long this is taking. Okay, so there's two screws out. So we'll put these somewhere safe. The Ruby grid comes in two parts, the top part, and then like this bottom base. We're gonna put this base in first, and I guess you just put those screws back in. It's also got 3M tape, and you're supposed to line these up, which I don't really know how you do that because it's basically impossible to see in here. But we'll try. I don't know. Who are the people that get up in here? So I started to thread it and it seems like it's not going in there cleanly. So I'm gonna back it out. Stick my fat head up in here. Oh, that feels good. So I think I got this one. It definitely should feel smooth going in. Like that one felt good. See, this one feels lined up too. So once you get it, I guess it does line up pretty easily. Look at that, it's, that's, that fits smooth or like pretty tight in there. And now I just need to screw it in. So they give you the little screws that you need. I think there's four of them. They also give you a little screwdriver that you need right there, which is nice. I think that's gonna be okay. We're gonna have to test this once we screw that down. I'm afraid the quick release on the Falcam camera mount is gonna just only get tighter, you know? I don't know how many people like to mount a camera. It seems like everyone does the GoPro, but honestly, GoPro quality is shit. You go back and look at some of the vlogs on this channel that were filmed on a Hero 11 and probably other, old, older GoPros. 
to me that the quality of video is terrible. But they're meant for action cam sports, so it makes sense if you're on a trail and the stabilization is unmatched. But in terms of making vlogs like this, which is what I like to do, I like to make a camera. And I'm filming with a Nikon Z30. If you have a bigger camera, you're gonna wanna test this. This does seem like it like bubbles out a little bit in the backside versus the front side. Do I have that on the right way? Let me look at the instructions. I wonder if I put this on backwards, actually. What I'm wondering is, I have the logo facing towards me. This, it says Ruby Lord. I'm wondering, did I put this in backwards? Okay, after further review, all the pictures I could find didn't even have this little Ruby logo. And the ones, a couple I did, it was facing into the cab. However, I think this thing is like perfectly symmetrical and it makes sense to me that it should be facing out because the space up front here is thicker than the space back here. And I think most people want devices sort of closer to them just for space reasons. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna pull it out and make sure it fits the other way. And I might install it the other way. So we're back, back to square one. So let's flip it and it might actually make more sense to have my, okay, so it doesn't actually fit the other way. I guess I could have figured that out without taking it out. However, now I'm thinking that I kind of might want the quick release in the back instead of the front. This back in, that makes more sense actually now that I think about it. So that quick release is no longer impeded by the bottom of the dash. It's very hard to see here. But the quick release when it was up front was hitting this the dash part. So now in the back, there's there's plenty of room back there. Okay, let's retest the camera up here. Popping it off my quick release. Float it around. Locked. And then on the back side, if I can even get back there. I cannot get back there. The quick release is on the back. So this thing is locked in. I can't move it. Uh, but I can punch the quick release on the back side and just slot it out. That's badass. That, w that fits really well. Um, I have like a whole, I can put my whole hand behind the camera. So I think you could get a taller stack here if you wanted to. Otherwise that looks really good, I think. Very nice. We've done it. Success. Many success. So I don't know, this thing feels very on there. Does it work the other way? Yeah, hell yeah, it'll work. So let's pull it out and I can flip screen oh i don't know do we have the clearance uh so we probably don't have the clearance to face it forward son of a bitch didn't think about that but i can always put a gopro mount i have a gopro so i can stick a gopro right next to it that faces forward which you know gopro you want to see face forward anyways so we could get a two two camera view angle ultimately this is pretty nice it's pretty sleek like you can't even see it depending on your eye level very nice bullet point, bullet point solutions plus uh, a Falcam F38 design there, quick release. Uh, it also supports Arca, whatever that Arca camera mount is called, so really easy to do. So that's it, you're gonna get more car vlogs now. How exciting is that? Everyone likes a car vlog, not really, but um, it does give us a chance to lock down the camera when we're driving. Good day, mate. More car, car vlogs coming soon, yay. This bird shit in the video.